Right, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Gone Heli Mad. Today we'll be unboxing the Hobbywing 100 amp Platinum Pro Speed Controller. So here we have the Hobbywing Platinum 100 Amp V3 Speed Controller which is perfect for most 500 to 550 size helicopters and is also designed for planes as well. The presentation of the packaging is quite good with some of the key performance details printed on the box. There's a seal of original manufacturer on the side of the box proving authenticity and a serial and warranty number and barcode on the back. The Speed Controller has a 100 Amp rating provides a 10 amp back output and is perfect for 2S to 6S LiPo connections. We'll go ahead now and open the box. Okay, so we've just taken the box out of the way and placed the speed controller squarely on the table. So the speed controller typically has your three motor connectors already shielded for connection to your motor, uh, two terminal inputs for soldering your hypo battery, and a braid of servo type cables which consist of your RPM sensor connector, your throttle cable connected to your gyro, and a third cable which is your BEC 10 amp output connector. I kind of like the size and design of this particular speed controller. It's compact, it fits perfectly on my Goblin 380 on the underside of the tray, and I've seen many people run them on their Compass XOs also. Uh, it's a great size speed controller and it works really well, and I've found it to be quite reliable. It has a heat sink on the top, and on the bottom you'll find that there are vents on the front and back which allow airflow through to keep the PCB and the components internally cool during operation. On the back of the speed controller, you'll also find that it's got the two capacitors typical of most speed controllers and the socket there, um, which is for connecting the Hobbywing program card to for setting up the speed controller, which makes it quite easy to set up or to plug in the fan, which comes in the box and I'll pull it out in a second. I've just put the speed controller aside and I've just grabbed the box and we'll just go through what else comes inside. So there's the manual, there's the fan which screws directly onto the face of the speed controller and connects into the socket which I just showed you and there are two colour coded heat shrink pieces which you would use to connect the terminals onto a connector for your LiPo connection. So there you have it, that's everything that comes in the Hobbywing Platinum V3 100 amp speed controller. Uh, like I've mentioned, I've, I use this on many of my helis, on my 500s and 380 even, um, and I've had no issues whatsoever. A hint though is to make sure you set up the speed controller correctly as per the instructions if you're going to set it up in governor mode, uh, particularly paying attention to the RPM standardization requirements. If you do that and you follow the instructions in terms of setting your throttle endpoints and programming the speed controller correctly for all of the various settings, then you should find that it will be quite reliable for yourself also.